Seems like if you had one of them rolled over, that first thing you'd want to do is get somebody out there to sedate them before you. Because mm -hmm. you know, like you, I was just kind of looking at this, like we could cut that trailer apart mm -hmm. pretty fast. Mm -hmm. You know, I would say within what do you guys think, like five minutes, we could have the whole side of that thing off. Yeah. yeah. Now, how do you get out of there? Like, if you got a horse that's panicked, are they going to try to? The most dangerous situation I feel like with horses is to be in a trailer when they're panicking. Yeah. So don't. I mean. Unless they're Don't sedated. Get open, then. Right. Yeah. And know where your exits are. And that's why I'm saying, like, if you approach them, approach them from they're down, approach them from their neck side, they're away from the legs. Even right, just so their people, heads swinging around. If you got a big, if you got a full size horse in there, and that trailer lays on its side, it's really not you're going to have to get in the 
through the back, right? I mean, you have to open the back, or I guess it can go through the people door. For the horse to come out? No. For you, for to, you to get in. Yeah. You have to see how it's playing. Okay, let's go out. A little bit. <laughs> She's like, I can't see where I'm going, and there's lots of people there. Good girl. Um, what were we talking about on that? Oh, getting in and out. Getting in and out of the crows on the side. Yeah. A, a lot of them have, like, this one's kind of nice because you can still reach in and, like, untie them because they're going to be tied in there. So, first get them untied so that they can get out on their own and they're not at least still hooked in there. Um, but if they don't have these open slats, then they'll have, like, drop down windows. Kind of like a, kind of like the side door over there for the tack room, just kind of like a latch kind of thing. And then you can at least reach in there, and a person can fit through there. But again, you just gotta be careful they don't see that as opening, and then try to go, and then you're jammed even. So if you had a horse like in a trailer, and the vet was there and sedated it, mm -hmm. that would be your best because you're not gonna get a toe strap underneath it. Well, it's the vet's gonna, gonna be able to tell you which way too. Right. Yeah. If you if you needed to get something like under it, like you're gonna get a strap underneath and it's down, if you had like I don't know, a piece of plywood or some kind of board. You probably have some kind of stretcher board or something that you could slide yeah, like under. Like a backboard? Like lift a little bit from, yeah, from one side, get it under there as much as you can, and then hopefully go from the other side and fish it out. That might work. Yeah.